Right. Okay, it is 7 p.m. Um, we've already done roll call. We were in closed session, so now we're back in open session. Uh, Kathy, is there any public comment? There is not. Okay, since there's no public comment, uh, we'll move on to see if any board members have a request to change the agenda. Does not appear so, so I will pass it over to Dr. Ryan Toy for the superintendent report. All right, and I'm just going to change ever so slightly the order of things so that it'll explain why we have our Blythe student presenters here. So I am excited to present, and I know we have uh, Mr. Brad Meyer here and Mr. Joe Bernardo here um, on behalf of the district. So our music department received an award for being an outstanding uh, school district in which to learn music, and you're going to hear a little bit about that tonight. So. I don't know, Brad, if you want to come and accept this on behalf of the, the department. Should we have, we you could shake you go down a little bit. There you go. Brad, Brad, congratulations. Yeah. Very impressive for you in a row. Thank you. I'll high five. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Our music programs are impressive and Several years ago, when we did full day kindergarten, we knew we needed to increase our specials, our um, art music time uh, for our students. And with that came some interesting schedule changes for our elementary general education music teachers also. And they um, very graciously, willingly, and enthusiastically started teaching our fifth graders band and orchestra. And so tonight, as we bring our Blythe student presenters here, we decided that we would kind of let all these things gel together. And with, um, for Blythe, we have our music students. I'm gonna, Kazmira, introduce Mr. Bernardo and the students, and it's our mini concert night. So good evening, Ward. Thanks for having us here. Um, you know, just as um, Dr. Ryan Troy said, you know, in light of our music department receiving the Communities of Music Education Award, uh, we thought it would be fitting to have our band and orchestra students from Blythe be the, this month's presenters. Um, like many years, uh, this year we have every single member of our fifth grade either have signed up to take um, to learn either an orchestra instrument or a band instrument. Um, I just th think that that speaks to their eagerness to take on a challenging task and you know and by learning to play a new instrument i also think that it speaks a great deal just to our families and our community for the support they give to music education um, so we were just really excited um, not all of our students could be here because their lives are so busy but many of them were able to be here with us tonight and they're each uh, the orchestra is going to play a song for you and the band is going to play a song for you and mr joe renaro has graciously offered to be here and to conduct um, both the band and the orchestra. So I'm going to hand it over to him. Thank you. Hi, uh, Joe Renaro, the music teacher at Central School, as well as the district wide fifth grade orchestra teacher. At Blythe Park, we have 16 students in orchestra, and nine of them could be with us today. Could you please all stand? And starting at this end and ending at this end, introduce yourself, your first name, and what instrument you play. The board. Your name and your instrument. Hi. Hi, my name is Abigail, and I do violin. I'm Aaliyah and I also play the violin. My name is Ashley and I also play the violin. I'm Luke Monster and I also play the violin. My name is Audrey and I play the violin. My name is Randy and I play the violin. Mm -hmm. My name is Emily and I play the viola. My name is Victoria and I play the viola. My name is Vera and I play the viola. And we'll be playing Ode to Joy from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony for you. All right, we'll be all
first time I have the pleasure of conducting these boys. We just put together for the first time about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Here are our boys from band. Boys, can you please stand tall? Introduce yourself to the board, your first name, and what instrument that you play. Uh, I'm Tyler, and I play the flute. I'm Mateo, and I play the oboe. I'm and we another recognizable tune composed by, we don't know if it's Mozart or his wife, but it is the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> here and the orchestra students could come back in if, if the board has any questions. I don't know. They seem pretty ready to be gone. They, they might have gone. <laughs> they might have left. That's okay. We don't right. Right. <laughs> Mr. Breyer, you can share with us. They've been learning since... Um, we started at the beginning of the school year. So how it works is the first week of school, the kids, we all get together in each respective elementary school. The kids try out all the different instruments. Day one, it's go to a string or go to a wind, go to a brass, vice versa. And the kids kind of make their selection from there. I believe we have about 99% fifth grade enrollment across the entire district. Just about every single kid plays a band or an orchestra instrument. And just looking at the group here, I've had the privilege of teaching many of your kids in orchestra and also music class. So uh, I came to this district two years ago because they put music on, on the pedestal. And it's such a privilege to be a part of this team. It's the best team of music teachers have ever been on. And we are so proud of what the kids accomplish on a regular basis. This is not even one full school year. So. Yeah. I'm sure very bright things await the kids at Hauser when they get to band and orchestra there. And I, what I've heard is that we have a lot more orchestra students than we've yeah. had. Like we've seen this really significant increase in the number of students um, playing both band and orchestra mm -hmm. that we may have to make some adjustments in our schedule um, over at Hauser, which is, is, is a great problem to have. So we, we will be doing that and make sure we can accommodate all these wonderful young musicians. So. Does anyone want to say why you chose the instrument you chose? Um, uh, I chose it because my brother played it. That's a great reason. <laughs> That's a great reason. That's a great reason. Um, we went through a bunch of options. Uh, and got to practice playing each instrument, and I felt like this one was just more, not easier, but it just felt better for me. That's perfect. It was a good fit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I chose it because I think it sounded the best, and I really, since when I was little, I really liked the sound of it. So I like to. That's it. a great reason. Well, good. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between a viola and a violin? Violins are bigger, a little bit. Okay. No, violas are bigger. Violas are bigger. I'd accept any answer. I don't know. Um, my older cousin that I really look up to, she also played the violin, and when I played the violin, it just felt like something that I could see myself doing in the future, so I felt like it was the right thing to choose. Aw, that's great. That's great. Oh, no. <laughs> I chose my instrument because uh, I have two brothers who one plays the viola, I believe, and the other plays the clarinet. And so I wanted to be different. I wanted to do something else. 
and I never really liked strings, so I just went for a woodwind. That's how I got the flute, because, well, I also always like the nice, light sound of a flute. Yeah, and now you can start a band mm -hmm. with your brothers. <laughs> sure. Um, I chose my instrument because I want to learn something new, and maybe in the future I could like play and be like professional. Absolutely, mm -hmm. that's great. How many of you, just by a show of hands, think you're going to stick with playing your instrument in sixth grade? You have maybe you still have time to decide, right? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. leaning to sticking with your instrument, okay, about half. Yeah. Encore classes aren't due for another couple of weeks. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> about right it. Now, so. A lot of choices. Well, thank you so much thank for you. coming out. Yeah, it was very, so uh, very great. Lovely to meet you. So uh, I'll just say I think Mr. Meyer is still in there. When, when we got the note from Mr. Meyer, I looked up because I, I remember thinking this was not a very um, not a lot of districts get this. I don't know how many apply for it, because I think it's like a whole application process and everything, right? But like looking up some of the stats, just in the U.S., only 7%, roughly 7% of the school districts get this, and in Illinois, it's only 4%, 32 districts. So um, I just think, I mean, it's, that's amazing. And three years in a row, so keep it up. It's awesome. It really is an outstanding department, and you can just see how our students really enjoy it. So yeah. thanks, Brad, and Joe, nice and the whole, to the whole team. So congratulations again. Yeah. And that's the end of our mini concert tonight. Aww. So uh, thank thanks you so for much coming. for coming. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks so much. And honestly, like Wesley was there, I know, but the concert, um, the band concert, was that last week already? Uh, yeah. Um, my son's in fifth grade at Hollywood, um, plays the trombone because he thought it would be cool. Um, loves it and then I love how Mr. Howes everybody had them stay and watch the sixth graders because it's um, I mean he got so excited leaving you know like oh, that's how I'm gonna play next year it's beautiful it's wonderful mm -hmm. yeah you guys are amazing and at that concert was it the was it the jazz band that was on the floor yeah in oh, between? So I mean good. and just the difference between like and that was seventh grade yeah. I think yeah oh, six seventh and eighth or something oh, Seventh and eighth. Okay, so like, I mean, basically a two-year difference from what you heard. On, I just, it was oh my amazing. Gosh, they're the, so good. The improvement over two, just two years. So. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely heard that. Yeah. 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 Well, great. we have a lot of hot crust cross buns on a reporter right now in our home, oh, going Lord with my you. fourth grader. But yeah. my daughter just picked for. I thought maybe she would drop her instrument going into seventh. But no, she wants to stick with it, and so what does she she's play? violin. Oh yeah, huh? yeah. So I mean, That's neither awesome. her dad or I are very musically inclined, but she has really loved her experience learning the instrument. So good for her. Yeah, I love that. All right. Um, Thank well, you for bringing that. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice, a nice treat for everybody. Just two other quick announcements, really. One is, speaking of the arts, we have our WSCAE Student Art Fair on Saturday, April 27th. And uh, we use the Cheney Mansion, the 15 districts that are part of the West Suburban Consortium for Academic Excellence, um, bring art projects. Our art team works on selecting the number of pieces. And it's really a lovely art show, art fair. Um, would encourage people to stop in at, at that event. It's a great one. And then. Hard to believe, but Hauser graduation is May 28th, and I feel like that's going to be here in a Heartbeat. blink of an eye. So we'll be reaching out soon to see um, which which board members are able to join us on stage and hand out diplomas. It's always another a special moment for the Board of Education as well. I don't think we have any eighth grade graduates mm -hmm. among board members this year. So oh, I'm not ready for that. that's something to always look forward to if you get to give your own child a diploma. So. If they let you. They do. <laughs> <laughs> your child your lets child. you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if your child lets you. No, your child lets you. Until they're 18, you're still yeah. in control. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it for the superintendent's report. All right. Thank you for that. Uh, so that brings us to the consent agenda. Could the board secretary please read tonight's consent agenda? Yes, tonight's consent agenda consists of um, 
minutes of the following uh, previous meetings, the March 6th committee of the whole meeting, the March 6th uh, closed session meeting minutes um, number one, and then we had a uh, second closed session, so the minutes from that, the March 20th regular business meeting minutes, the personnel report is presented, the payables pre-list as of March 31st, the payables pre-list as of April 17th, the non-union salary recommendations for 2024-2025, and the planning for negotiations salary study of uh, for teachers conducted by the Educational Leadership Solutions. All right, thank you. Uh, does any board member wish to take any of these items out of the consent agenda before we vote? All right, if not, is there a motion to approve tonight's cons... I don't have a motion up, hold on. Uh, is there a motion? Yeah. Is there a mo motion for the Board of Education to approve the consent agenda as presented? So moved. Second. Kathy, could you call the roll? Okay. Mr. Marhol? Aye. Mr. Hunt? Aye. Ms. Gunn? Aye. Ms. Kalick? Aye. Ms. Claps? Aye. And Mr. Mayorhead? Aye. Uh, next item is the approval for administration, administrator contracts. Is there a motion for the Board of Education to approve the administrator's contracts as presented? So, so moved. Second. Does anybody have anything to discuss prior to the vote? All right. Wesley. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. No, go ahead. Board Chairman, President, remind me of our average salary increase. Martha, can you remind me about what is it? Um, Jim, I don't do want to say the wrong number. The, aver the average, average salary, salary increases. I have the full, I have this full split. Was it four? Yeah, okay, that's what I, I thought. I thought it was 4%. Right. Yeah, it's 4%. Thank you. Any, yeah, any other comments or questions? All right, if not, Kathy, could you call the roll? Okay, Mr. Hunt? Aye. Ms. Gunn? Aye. Ms. Kalick? Aye. Ms. Claps? Aye. Mr. Marhol? Aye. And Mr. Mayorhead? Abstain. Okay, motion passes. Um, next item is the super co superintendent's contract approval. Is there a motion for the Board of Education to approve the super superintendent's contract as presented? So moved. Second. All right. Um, I have a couple comments that I would like to make before we officially vote on this. Uh, just personally, and I, I do believe some of this I speak for the board, some of this is just personal comments of mine. Just I came into this district, uh, this town, I guess, about eight, eight or nine years ago, and I've heard a lot uh, at that point in time about all the stuff that was going on. We're all aware, so I don't need to rehash that. But I just think as we go into this contract, which is going to be a formal retirement contract for Dr. Ryan Toy, after, um, that'll make it 11 years, I think, by the time you're done, it's eight currently. This will be a three-year extension on it. I think just as I was going through this process and thinking this over the last eight years that uh, you've been running the district and the five now that I've been on the board, um, just uh, a number of key things for me really stood out. And I think one of the big ones is the stability of this organization. Um, from what I had heard when I first came in, not really knowing much about this district to what we have today, I think has been a world of improvement. Along with the finances, there were a lot of issues that uh, people in the community were concerned about. We've done all these massive uh, improvements and expansions to the building, you know, a million dollars spent in this room that you really can't see, but desperately needed all the upgrades inside the walls and everything getting our first ever formal strategic plan that we've been executing the last couple of years, full day kindergarten. I remember hot lunch <laughs> was, uh, people were losing their mind at Ames about how do we not have hot lunch at, at these schools and everything, and, and now we have that, and I think COVID kind of goes unsaid. Um, that was a really difficult time period, and, and I think uh, this board, and Dan included, did a great job navigating us through a very tumultuous, very scary, very, uh, unknown time period. So I, I think this is a well-deserved contract for you, and, and I'm glad that uh, we were able to get through this. And I guess a pre-congratulations, but this is not going to be a, a lame duck three years for you. Yeah. you got a lot of big things coming up. So um, looking forward to continuing to work with you after we approve this tonight. So just a few personal comments I, I wanted to share. So I don't know if anybody else wants to say anything, or we can just move into a vote, but I'll pause for any other comments. I think you did really well, and yes. Okay. I concur. 
I won't belabor this much more then. Uh, Kathy, can you call the roll? Okay, Ms. Gunn? Aye. Ms. Kalick? Aye. Ms. Claps? Aye. Mr. Marhol? Aye. Mr. Hunt? Aye. And Mr. Muirhead? Aye. Motion passes. All right, then I can say a few words. Sure, yeah, if you'd like to. I had to make sure the vote went through first. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, um, I just want to say can thank you to this board and really to the, to the whole community. It's, it's been um, eight years that have gone by the blink of an eye, three years more, and I want to be clear about that, that I remain just very, very committed to the improvements that are already in place um, and continue to, as I say, my phrase is making things even better for all kids. Um, it's, it's what motivates me, it's what, it's what keeps me here, and I think we have more work to do, even though I am also so, um, just so proud of the work, because this is not work that I have done alone by any means, but um, I feel like we've had just a lot of um, transparency and integrity and keeping students at the center of all of our work here, and just an outstanding leadership team that I have the privilege to work alongside truly every day. Um, an outstanding group of teachers that I don't get to work with quite as closely every single day, but when I have those opportunities to connect, even like tonight, we just are um, so fortunate and have so many wonderful teachers and great, great parent community. So when I started in education, I was like, I really want to work in a community where families just really care about how their kids are doing. And uh, this is truly one of those communities where it's just just um, a privilege and an honor to, to partner with our parents, to work with our outstanding uh, team of teachers, and not just teachers, our entire staff. There's just uh, great people, everything from serving hot lunch at all five schools now, which, which was a, a very big deal, um, to making sure our buildings are clean and safe. And um, again, I could go on and on, but mostly just want to say thank you. Well, that brings us into board member comments. So does, do any of the board members ha have any additional comments from anything that's already been stated? We, we heard about the band concert, so mm, yeah. I don't know if there's any other things that popped up in the last couple of weeks. I guess I um, uh, would just like to commend the central PTO. Um, we've had um, them decide to take some creative action around attendance, and so they put together this program to encourage attendance over the last month of the school year. Um, and the winning grade will get a class party. And yeah. so I just thought that was really a great way that shows it wasn't just them. You know, they worked together with the principal of the school, and um, just a, a wonderful way for them to take action and. Hopefully it bears results for all the district, right? And if it works well, we could maybe roll it out at other schools. I will note a thanks in advance to the folks who have organized the uh, science fair that will be held at Blythe Park uh, tomorrow. Mm. Normally my kids would be watching, you know, wrapped on every word that I would say here at this meeting, but I'm sure they're working on their, uh, their <laughs> projects today. <laughs> So it was okay for them to miss tonight's So meeting. Okay, yes, I've given them dispensation for me to miss right. tonight. <laughs> Anybody else before I move on? No? Okay. Uh, that brings us into old business. So first item of old business is the elementary science curricular resource. Is there a motion for the Board of Education to adopt Mystery Science as the new kindergarten through grade five Riverside District 96 science curricular resource? So moved. Second. Second. Okay, uh, any discussion before we vote? Um, just that we know from Angela over there that uh, it's been a rigorous process and we think we've got a good, a good program of instruction and it builds on some things that they've been thinking about. So uh, we just appreciate the fact that this is, it's not just a slam dunk and we do look at all the uh, opportunities available and try and evaluate and pick the best one. And I think there was some, I believe we had this at the table, at the uh, questions around the process for the current curriculum that we had. And I think you had kind of dug around and we couldn't find an fit, not to say that there wasn't, but we just couldn't find evidence of anything that was anywhere near as rigorous as, as what we did. So um, there was a lot of work that went into this recommendation. So it was very thoughtful just to add to that. So we did get answer to that question. Mm -hmm. And I can just reiterate, if anybody who's listening, that um, there were teachers that were came together as a team to write lessons, lessons, units of study in science. 
Um, it was through also our regional office of education, so it was a, a great undertaking, and I, but I think it just didn't come enough, and so it was the pandemic interfered with that, come enough to fruition. So the goals and the outcomes of that group of teachers coming together was, was different than this was really around selecting a curricular resource that would allow us to, to better sort of implement science instruction in our elementary classrooms. And I'll just say kind of for the record, uh, some of the old business items were discussed during a committee of the whole meeting that I was unfortunately unable to attend, but I did get an opportunity to uh, watch the discussion as well. So I feel prepared to, to vote this evening. Right. Anything else? All right, uh, Kathy, could you call the roll? Okay, Ms. Kalick? Aye. Ms. Claps? Aye. Mr. Marhol? Aye. Mr. Hunt? Aye. Ms. Gunn? Aye. And Mr. Muirhead? Aye. Motion passes. Okay, the uh, next item is for additional, the approval to add additional instructional coaches. Um, I'm just reading through this motion here. If we pass this motion as written, does that limit you to, I guess you're only planning on posting one this year, but. Well, does this limit yeah. your ability to pivot on that if we vote this way? One this year, one next year? No, I, I think it, it's helpful to us to sort of then have the, the future planning spelled out for the, the future instructional okay. coach. All right, as long as you're okay with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, is there a motion that the Board of Education approve hiring one additional instructional coach, FTE, for the 2024-2025 school year and another for the 2025-2026 school year? So moved. Second. Is there any discussion before we vote? Uh, this is a gr graduated plan, so, and we know that, uh, just it seemed, the presentation last, last time was pretty thoughtful, and by graduating it, it gives us a chance to pivot if necessary. Yeah, I think I'll just call out that this ends up, I'm trying to find where it was. Um, this will put a, the second coach getting added, I believe, if I read this, I'm trying to find it in the memo. It brings us to four, a, which is one per 35. Did I yes. get that right? Yep. Okay. That's what's in the memo. Yeah. So by the end of the 2024-25 school year, we'll have four. Yeah. Oh, there it is right there. Four instructional coaches. Okay. Any other commentary before we vote? Okay. Kathy, could you call the roll? Okay. Ms. Claps? Aye. Mr. Marhol? Aye. Mr. Hunt? Aye. Ms. Gunn? Aye. Ms. Kalick? Aye. Mr. Muirhead? Aye. Motion passes. We have no new business, and I'm going to assume we have no public comment. We do not. And I think, do we have like a record meeting time? Oh my gosh, I close, <laughs> wow. doesn't feel like Even with the musical, <laughs> you know, performance. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're getting efficient. Yeah. All right, so future meeting dates, May 1st, 2024, will be a committee of the whole meeting at 7 p.m. in the multi-purpose room at Ames. May 15th will be a regular business meeting at 7 p.m. in the Hauser Resor Learning Resource Center. June 5th, we will not have a public meeting. That'll be a formal closed, um, closed session with IASB representation for a self-assessment process at 6 p.m at the Library at Ames School, and June 12th will be a regular business meeting at 7 p.m. in the Hauser Learning Resource Center. And with that, this meeting is adjourned. Mm -hmm. wow.